Dr. B here, doing a bit of baking tonight, a bit of making bread. I love making bread, it's one of my favourite things to do. But when I was thinking about tonight making the bread, I thought, how does that relate to chemistry and how does it relate to moulds? Well, let me show you. Come over here and have a look. Right, so I'm making my bread. This is my basic recipe. I know you need a bit more stuff, but this is basic. So tonight I'm making bread, and to do that I need flour and water. So for example, if I want to make 100 grams of bread, I'm going to need approximately 30 grams of water and I'm going to need approximately, I don't know, 70 grams of flour. So if I add those two together, look, the left side equals the right side, which you'd expect. Now, maybe tomorrow night I'm getting my girlfriend coming over, so I need to make a, few, a bit more bread, but I need to know what the recipe would be if I was going to make some more. So this time I'm going to make 200 grams of bread instead of one. How could I work that out? Well, the way I do it is, I just divide this side by 100, so that gives me one gram of bread, and I do the same to the other side. So I divide 30 by 100, and that gives me 0 0.3 grams, and I give divide that by 100, and that gives me 0 0.7 grams. But I want 200 grams of bread, so how do I work that out? So all I do is, I times this by what I want, which is 200. If I wanted 300 grams of bread, I times by 300. If I wanted 400 grams of bread, I times by 400. But now I've got the basic to work out for any amount of bread. So if I times this by 200, I get 200 grams of bread. And how much water will I need? Well, I'll need 60 grams of water this time. And how much? Well, I'll need 140 grams of flour. And that tells me for 200. And you'd expect that to anyway, you just double that because you want 200 too. But how does this relate to chemistry? Well, it might ask you in an exam, let's have a look at this. Here's a recipe here. Sodium plus chlorine gives me sodium chloride. And they might say, well, how much sodium or how much chloride would I need to give me 100 grams of chlorine? Well, it's the same sort of thing. You need to work out your weights and then you work out your recipe and you do the same process. So the first thing you do is you come to your periodic table and you look at the weight of your different elements. So if I'm to look at sodium, that weight's 23, and chlorine, well that weight's 35.5, so I just put those underneath. And the relative formula mass for this one is 58.5 grams. So again, it's the same as the recipe before, I've got my basic ingredients, I do exactly the same thing, I divide it by this number, 58.5, to work out how much I need for one gram, so I've divided it by 58.5, and that tells me that I need 0.4 grams of sodium, I need 0.6 grams of chlorine to produce one gram of sodium chloride. Then again, I multiply it by the number I want, I want 100 grams, so I multiply it by 100, and that tells me that I need 40 grams of sodium plus 60 grams of chlorine to give me 100 grams. That's my recipe to make that salt. So this is how chemistry relates to cooking. If you want to see how this relates to at relative atomic mass and moles, look in the description below. Dr. B, sign up. Cheers.